Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at iris shaders and finally we are able to change our shader options in iris shaders. For those of you who have been wondering how do I change my shader settings and how do I configure my shader options when I'm using iris shaders then you can do so now by using this latest version of iris shaders and I will leave a link in the description on how you can actually go ahead and get this latest version of iris shaders to try out so let me just quickly show you guys I'm gonna press the F3 console there as you guys can see this is the latest version of iris shaders that we can go ahead and try out this is iris shaders version 1.2.0 this is the beta version 3.1 as of today's date in the future you might get a more updated version of this file as you guys can also see I am on the latest version of Minecraft which is a version 1.18.1 so for those of you who are using iris shaders on minecraft java 1.18.1 then you can actually go ahead and get iris shaders for minecraft java and be able to change and configure your shader options as you guys can see i am using some nice shader packs in iris shaders let me go into my options and click on video settings you can see that these are the sodium settings and we do have a shader packs button here which you can expect with iris shaders if i go into the shader pack section you can see i'm using the shaders which are called red hat version 33.0 and these are a choco pick edit shader pack and now as you guys can notice at the bottom right here we do have a button that says shader pack settings in the past we did not have this option so the only way to be able to actually configure the shader packs in iris shaders which was to either use a fork called starline and that basically allowed us to configure the iris shader options the other way was obviously to go into a shader pack and edit that manually but now thanks to this option we are able to configure the shader options so let me go ahead and click on this button that says shader pack settings and as you guys can see this is a new layout in iris shaders and this is really good because it does actually give us the flexibility and the same options that we can expect in the other shaders mod called optifine so those of you who are using optifine and you are used to changing your shader options you can do so now with this version of iris shaders as you guys can see i have set my profile to very high by default some of the shaders are set to medium or high but thanks to this option i am actually able to select the very high option there i can actually go into my colors menu here and i can actually change the color preset so as you guys can see this is actually set to a milk empire when i click into this it selects the default color preset there and then you do have to click on apply to be able to change it another good thing about this layout and this menu is that everything is see-through and we can see what changes we are making in the background there so as you guys can see the color preset has changed let's go ahead and choose another one let's select legacy and see how that one looks as well as you guys can see this one has a more of a red type hint to it as well let me change that to the eyes preset and as you guys can see that's a more cooler type preset there and let's revert back to the milk empire color preset there you can obviously go ahead and change loads of other options within the shader pack as well this is a very good step and a huge accomplishment for iris shaders which has been worked on for a few months now and finally we are able to change our shader options i am also using iris shaders with a texture pack so this is the stratum resource pack that i have also gone ahead and enabled and everything in the game just looks really amazing thanks to the ability to change my shader options and use resource packs alongside it let's go ahead and select another shader pack so let's go ahead and choose a shader pack which is quite popular and this is the complementary shaders i do know that some of you have been having problems by manually editing the complementary shader files to try and get your desired results but now thankfully we are able to do that let's have a look at how the default settings look inside the game so as you guys can see this is what complementary shaders looks like inside the game everything just runs really smooth i do like complementary shaders they run really well with the iris 
shaders mod as well and everything just looks really nice in this shader pack. Let's go ahead and change some of the options with the complementary shaders with the new iris shaders menu. Let's go back into our video settings, click on shader packs and now we can go into the shader pack settings here. As you guys can see for the complementary shaders we do have this layout. Another good thing I do like about this new configure option for iris shaders is this bit over here where you can actually import settings from a file and you can actually export your applied settings to a file and then you can actually share that file with your friends. So if you guys have configured a shader pack and it looks really cool when you want to share that with your friends you can actually do that by clicking on this button and then sharing the file and saving that file to a different location and then obviously your friends can use iris shaders and import those settings from that particular file. Another cool thing I do like about this is that you can actually reset the options that you did make. So similar to Optifine, if I did go ahead and change some of these settings, you can reset all your options back to the default settings. To reset, you do have to hold the shift key and then click on reset, and then that will actually reset all of your settings back to the defaults. Let's take a look at some of these settings. So now with the iris shaders, shader pack, configure options, I can change my profile now. So let's go ahead and actually choose one of the profiles which we weren't able to select previously with iris shaders, and that is the vanilla RTX-ish profile. So let me go ahead and click on apply. You do have to click on apply each time after you make a selection here. Let's go back inside the game. As you guys can see, we do have the vanilla type look here with complementary shaders. One thing to note is that the water actually does change with this setting. Those of you who have ever used a Windows 10 Bedrock Edition with RTX, you will realize that this actually looks quite similar to the water and the RTX effects in that version of Minecraft. So I do actually appreciate what they have done with this setting. And it's really cool. We are able to now select this within Iris shaders. It's really good. Let's go back into our video settings and change a few of these profiles again. Let's go into the post process settings here and enable motion blur and lens flare as well. Let's check out the depth of field and distance blur settings over here. And as you guys can see, the DOF distance blur has been turned on but now we can actually select the type which is the distance blur which is currently selected and now I can actually choose a depth of field as well effect let me go ahead and apply that and let's go ahead and see how that looks inside our game let's click on done let's go back inside the game so as you guys can see the water has now reverted back and this is the extreme version of the profile let me quickly go over next to an object here and as you guys can see the houses in the background there have been blurred out this is a really nice effect and now we can actually go ahead and enable this effect thanks to this configure option in iris shaders as you guys can see everything now behind this villager is actually blurred out let's go ahead and place a block over here and let's have a look at the blur effect in more detail so as you guys can see everything around in the distance there is nice and blurred out but the actual block is in focus we can go ahead and enable and disable a few more options let's try that now let's go into the world settings and let's select the outline settings and actually let's change this black outline setting to on and take a look at how that actually looks and i believe this actually enables the cell shaded type effect in our game so as you guys can see everything is now looking like a cool cell shaded type effect and this is what we are used to seeing in the astralex shaders but now we can select this with the complementary shaders as well and i think that looks really nice i do like this effect as well it is something nice and interesting to play with and it's all thanks to the iris shaders shader pack settings configure section that we are able to change all of these settings within our game but those of you who have been using iris shaders all this time and always have been wondering what's the easiest way to configure your shader options in Minecraft Java Edition, especially on the latest version, which is version 1.18.1, you can go ahead and do so now. As I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link in the description on how you can actually go ahead and get the Iris Shaders version that will allow you to configure your shader options for Minecraft Java Edition. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about the Iris Shaders Shader Pack options menu there, then do leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.